like I said, guys, you put some of you have probably already heard. You know, it was all planned out. Uh, that's why they've re relaxed the restrictions because they're just about to announce their next event. And by the looks of it, guys, their next event is a third world war. We are literally days away from them announcing that. That's what I'm getting. That's the impression I'm getting at the moment. So while everyone has been focusing on what's going on in Canada, okay, you know, some of the stuff that was going on in Canada was pretty crazy. And Canberra, you know, they had those, supposedly had those, um, what do you call them? Microwave weapons that were, that were burning people in Canberra, which was absolutely crazy. And then you saw the brutality in Canada and the bank accounts closing, which was crazy. So it's going to get people looking at that. And, you know, in, people should know about that. However, while they were doing that, they were planning this. They were building up to this and this. And people wouldn't... They know the average man, woman would think, oh, that's not going to happen because nothing's ever happened in their lifetime. They think it, not, it won't happen. That's the mentality people have. It won't happen. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. And then when it comes, it's sudden it's sudden even if this turns out to be nothing later it ju it just shows how quick things can escalate and by the looks of it things are going to get very crazy very fast like i've said loads of times other people said we ain't seen nothing yet world war three yeah we ain't seen nothing yet that is gonna make what's gone in the last two years a walk in the park in comparison. What awaits us is, yeah, these people are evil bastards. They're horrible, vile bastards. This dickhead here, you know, all of them, all of them, Biden, Boris, even though they might be puppets, Klaus Schwab, Bill, all of them, they are evil to the core. You, you they can't understand that even, like, even in supervillain in, in movies can't even... Uh, you can't even compare them to these people. These people are so evil. So, yes, they're going to fire missiles at cities and countries all over the world, I would say. Bombs are going to go off. They're going to, you know, they're going to, they're going to kill, a lot of people are going to die. And it's part of the depopulation agenda. That's what the impression I'm getting at the moment. There's been cyber attacks. I've, I've just put a video up, a 10 second video where I've just put, I don't normally watch the TV at all in my, in my home that I live in, but I thought I'll just try and see what it's saying, and yeah, because you know, because of all the propaganda and everything, and it's propaganda. However, it's you know to see what the pro propaganda they're promoting and where where it's going next. I think this is the next narrative. This is going to make CV look small in comparison. It's going to shock people to the car. It really is. That's why I've been saying stack up on food for two years. You know, I, you, know they, 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 you know they don't just build up all this predictive programming with military and walls and stuff for nothing it's got the, the you know they've got it planned to happen at some point and it looks like it's it's this year yeah so this is much bigger than what's going on in canada so all those people and it makes me it makes it, it's i kind of find it quite weird how people like max egan and all these other people that i'm starting to see as shills now if, if, i haven't even touched anything on this even though yes this is a big big theater as well it's what fear is theater of war it's going to cause disruption and it's part of the new world order and it is part of something that's going to cause massive supply shortages all over the world and people didn't even realize that it's going to shock people to the car because they're too bothered about what's going on in canada the truck convoy, which is a psyop in itself, to cause more disruption of supplies, but it's not going to cause the shortage of the supplies like this. This is on a much bigger scale. And I don't know why all these people are avoiding it. It does make me, mm, why, why? So, yeah, guys, <sighs> like I said, we ain't seen nothing yet, and we need to be ready because, yeah, things are about to get, to, going to get, get taken to the next level. The, you know, the, they've, Put the foot down. Calm before the storm, right? Relax all the restrictions. Oh, great. Everything's back to normal. Oh, no. Because they're planning the next big event. They've it, they've, they've now announced that Russia is in, in, in the narrative. Russia has invaded Ukraine. That is what they've, they've basically said that um, they're going to announce a World War Three very soon. Um, 
because when a country invades another country and now they're saying that NATO's got to get involved and all that stuff, right? It's all theatre, of course. You know, they all work together against the people. And of course, a lot of real deaths are going to happen amongst the people, the soldiers and everything. and Even civilians, of course, cities destroyed. That's what we're facing. That is exactly what we're freaking facing now. And I think there's more to come. Cheers, guys.